All right, it's time for Eric uh, stream City Skylines 2 in Milford County. And so uh, what I want to do is uh, continue building out the suburbs here. Um, I think I want to, so I have kind of like this grid here. Now I kind of want to make like a little neighborhood within there. And then um, I want to take a look at the mass transit for the um, Empire Glades slash Sterlingville um, area. So uh, I'm going to take a look at Sterlingville. We've got a little bit more. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do is have. Let's see, we're going to connect about here. We're going to go up the top all right um we're gonna connect through here and then um <laughs> what i'm going to do is kind of have a, a little road that winds through here and that's gonna be for the houses. They're not going to connect to the left or the right. They'll kind of connect up at the top. So uh, let's give this a shot. So I'm going to do continuous curve. We'll see. Oh, before I do that, though, let me connect up here. Okay, that's done. All right, so we've got our road. We're at about the middle. I'm gonna go out and just kind of just curve around and around. Um, this will be one of those little neighborhoods where there's like a little street here. There's no there's no exit to the street. This is just a self-contained little neighborhood. Maybe we'll make one other exit up here just to not make it too crazy. Okay, just have this little curvy road. And almost to where I want it to be. Okay, right here we're going to stop. I'm going to go straight up. And now that um, roundabouts can have um, oh, that one doesn't look like it does though, but maybe I need a medium. There's, you're supposed to be able to zone off of a roundabout now. And maybe it is. Maybe it's just looking weird because of that. I'm not entirely sure. But you know what? It's fine. We will we'll just make a little roundabout there. Just like that. All right, cool. Um, And so I think, let's see. Maybe at about this point here, we'll also have another exit out of the community. So it's not just one way out. Okay, perfect. Um, and then after that, I just want to add a couple things like um, maybe... Or maybe what I'll do is I'll extend police coverage from Empire Glade over to Sterlingville. Uh, but first of all, let's grab these folks. Pretty sure those are not touching this road, right? Yeah. That's okay. We'll have it be a small neighborhood. Not too many houses. Go ahead and zone wherever it lets us zone in that case. And then maybe what I'll do is behind them, some of these houses, I will put some um, I'll put some parks that they can reach <laughs> and then let's see, let's go to our small playground let's see, will that touch off of there. Let's see what that looks like up close. Okay, it's fine. It makes a little path. Alright, cool, cool, cool. 
So wherever we can't have housing, I'm going to bring in some playgrounds. Dog park. Maybe dog park right there. Got a small park right there. Playground here. Dog park right there. Maybe. Maybe not. There we go. There. Um, playground. Alright. And then maybe we've got another one here. And up there. Okay. Cool, cool. So now the rest of this, I think, should be forested. did that. Now let's look for police stations. We've got one there. Let's see how they're doing. They've only got two cars out. I'm going to say you guys are for here and here. And yeah, anybody else wants one, they'll get their own later, I think. Let me see. If I go to Da, 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 da. Police. Do we have another one here? We've got one here. So I will say you. Oh, you're already covering the people we need to cover, so that's fine. And are you like overwhelmed? No, doesn't look like you've only got one car out. Okay, cool. Um, and then if we were to look at um. Healthcare, healthcare, healthcare. All right, we've got health and death care, health and death. Okay, so if I were to go here, I'm gonna say you're for here, here, and the others are fine. And then when it comes to the crema, oops. Um, so we're done with that. Then when it comes to the crematorium, I'm gonna say you are for here, here. Um, and maybe we can also cover Victoria Glade, why not? Then come in over here. All right, so you're done. Uh, you can cover here, here, and here. Okay. Um, you can cover here, here, here. Maybe some of these people want to be buried too, that's fine. Um, this small medical clinic as a buttload of patients. We're going to say you are for Barlow Way. Are you already for Barlow Way? No, okay. Uh, we will stop there for a minute. You are going to be here for Barlow, Autumn, Victoria, Empire. Okay, I think we're good. Don't think you need to be for Empire Glade, though. They've got their own thing going on. All right, so that takes care of that. So now, in Empire Glade, I know we've got our train station here, which has a lot of people waiting. Holy moly! Wonder where they're where they're going. I don't want to know enough to click in there, but um. It is good to know people are using it, though. Now, if we look at our buses. All right, so we've got, let's see, Empire Glade. So if we go here, we've got the one line, right? That kind of like goes through all of Empire Glade. Um. 
in both directions. So in a, in a way, it's kind of an out and back. Um. Okay. Uh, I think that's probably fine. Um, we've got. All right. So most of our commercial is here. And then we have some along here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is do Sterlingville. It's going to um, go to the bus station, I mean the train station, and there people can transfer to Empire Glade if that's what they want. Um, but what I'd like to do is we will start, so this one is not radial in that there's no bus station that everyone's starting and stopping from. That's kind of our train station. So we'll go here, we'll grab our stops. And what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna go here, go up a few blocks here, cause these are pretty long blocks. And we'll go maybe here. And then hey, driving advice. It kind of seems silly. These people should be able to walk to these stores. So maybe we're not going to go to those stores. Cuz I was I was planning on having like a bus stop at the stores, but Although maybe what we do is because we're stopping at the um train station, maybe some people from the train station want to come to the stores. So we'll do Before we dive into our next election, maybe here. And then we will from this way to over there. Okay, cool. So first, we will be dancing through the al dent section before entering the slower Largo movement. Finally, then savoring the vivacious anti pasto movement. So, without further ado, let's raise the curtain and begin. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. All right, and then coming back. Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart All right. from the actual This will be Sterlingville. For example, consider capital. One, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effects. Sterlingville. Thank you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. All right. Before we... The commercial district is booming. Move on. More high -end stores. I kind of want to take a look here. So this one's at uh, 26%. It's already at the lowest amount of buses. That one's about the same length. So that's probably already the lowest. Empire Glade can prop maybe get smaller. Yeah, I drop that one. Um, just because it's not getting as much utilization as it probably could. Um, Johnson Glen. Johnson Glen 2. We've got our university loop, which is barely getting anybody. That's already at the smallest it can be. Sterlingville doesn't have anybody just yet. That seems probably too many buses as well. All right, Sunnyside clockwise, tons of people. Oh boy. All right, um, let's add one more bus. 
so we don't end up in a situation where um, we're not able to pick people up. And then Sterling Spring. Rain to Spring and Sterling. Where's this one? Hmm. Well, it's getting lots of usage, so let's increase the vehicles. Four. The other way, not so much. Okay. Alright, so that takes care of that. Uh, so let's move... It's like, no matter what, we can't satisfy these demand bars. Um, it's really hard, okay. There is still some more room for trains. All right, the train college is almost completely full. Um. <laughs> All right. I think let's take a look at Victoria End. See what we've got going on here. Okay, so we need more parks maintenance going on. What's this here? A small elementary school. I think what I will do is come off of this large street here. And we will have a parks maintenance depot here. And we will get some more cars going off of there as well. Try and let that do its thing. Bus is on its way to. Oh, is it making like a weird loop or something? Interesting. All right. So back to Victor Victoria End. Victoria End is pretty huge and pretty underutilized as a uh, district. So I think let's expand it. Um. So here we've got this, essentially this, um, arterial and, um, this collector here. So I think maybe what I'll end up doing is, let me see what makes sense here. All right, so let's bring this road through here. And we're not going to... Alright, so actually I want to leave a little more room for, for growth of vehicles. But we're not going to go all the way there. We're going to come over. We're not going to go there either because that would be a nightmare of, a, um, of an intersection. Alright, here we've got our post office. We're going to go like... Uh, uh, I'm gonna go like that. Alright. Let's come over here. Alright, I'm gonna say that about right here we come in, but we don't want a traffic light here. We're just going to yield in. All right. So these are all people that are either coming to work or from work or something there. Not entirely sure. 
maybe they're going to the college. All right, so what I'd like to do uh, is, let's see, will offices zone here? They will. So I'd like to have kind of like a little office park here uh, with maybe some commercial. Let's see, I'm gonna bring this in. And then let's see. I want to zone or place a. Actually, I want to. I want to do a plaza on either side here. Something about that symmetry calls to me. Um. And then we will have. Um. So now these don't want to be here. That's okay. They do want to be here. So we'll put offices here. And then I'm going to put some uh, commercial here. All right. And then let me see something. So my plaza's here. Okay. So I'm going to bisect it with do I want an alley an alley hmm. <laughs> I think I want a walkway behind it here we'll kind of go like that um and I'm gonna I'm gonna continue the symmetry on this side okay uh and then over here I'm gonna put some offices. Well, these have to go back because of the way the street zoning is, so we'll do that. Maybe they come in, maybe they don't. Um, going to have parking. So we've, we've lost our symmetry now because of um, this side is a little bit smaller than that side, but that's okay. And we'll put parking here. And then we will put commercial here. And offices here. Alright, so those are zoned for when the um, desire comes in. Uh, we're going to get rid of this little nub there. Alright, let me see. So Victoria end. We can go lower, uh, being mindful of the um, expressway here, the highway. Um, <laughs> Alright, because I've got like my on-ramps and everything there, and I don't want to mess with that. Um, maybe what I'll do is... I will have this street. Let's see. I'm gonna go out to here. And then from here, I'm gonna go. Not quite tunneling, but kind of tunneling. Um, just so that hopefully we keep City Skylines 2 from getting upset. We're going to grab that. Go back in. Alright, so now here we were. We're semi-underground. We're just kind of like a little low. Uh, we're going to go a little bit further. And then from here we're going to come back up. Okay, cool. So we've got that set. So if I was successful in what I wanted to do, we should be able to um, bring the highway across here without any issues. Let's see if City Skylines will give me that benefit. So this is a, all right, so it's supposed to be a three way. Let's do two. No, it's not quite, but 
What if I just raise it a teensy bit? Teensy bit more? A little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. So we're, we did have to go up, but not too much. So now we can go back down to zero on this side. We'll leave that alone for now. Turn off the double. Um, all right, so let me just take a look at what we've got going on here now. So we've got this just, you know, just slight up you know we've got this little tiny key wall thing but then we're we're back we're back to normal probably that's just the the ground isn't as flat as it could be here so we've got that and then we come out on the other side that's great so victoria end oh cool so the the highway is essentially the boundary of victoria end give or take i didn't draw it perfectly straight but that gives me a good kind of like understanding of where we're at all right so if you're thinking about hitting the street, um, let's the see, where do we, so we start dipping about there. So if I were to come out like this, we're okay. Everyone is in a hurry to get somewhere fast. It's worth slowing down. And if you can, plan your trip outside the rush. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait. We'll come out to here. Thinking about everything all the time. Besides, oh, if I did that, that's I not what I wanted. No, it's not. No, it's not. And we're getting reports about a traffic accident. There we go. Uh, somewhere uh, right. in the city. Road maintenance services have already been so traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick I think what I'd like to do here so we've got the highway here. Got this. I think we're gonna do reminding you. I think we'll do um apartments here, and then we'll do parking behind. As, and then we'll do maybe a lot of row of trees as a bit of a buffer. Uh, let's see where that this takes us. So I'm going to start off by doing my zoning. I'm going to go American medium density. And I'll go ahead and zone on both sides of the street. That's fine. All right. Um, for over here, that street's just going to end there. That's fine. We're not going to because what we've got going on here. So we're going to go for parking. So it's across the street, which is not unheard of. It's not ideal, but we'll do, maybe we'll do canopy covered. That's like part of the um, benefit of these um, apartments here and another motorcycle there. Yeah. Um, this can fit eight. No, that's not going to do it for me. Cute idea, but no. All right, let's get rid of that. Yep. Uh, let's do... Doesn't tell us how many can fit there, unfortunately. Large is too large. Medium is just right. And we'll maybe, let's see, a small. A modest. A tiny. There we go. Much better. All right. So since we have that, I'm going to say that, um, do I want to say there's no street parking? I'm not going to worry about it now. All right. So so Cooper doesn't really go anywhere. All right. Um, over here, we're going to have... I'm gonna say, let's put some row homes here. We'll just paint these in. Um, we'll leave that like that for now. We'll grab our parking again.
definitely would be justified in turning off um, street parking, but... Alright, um... We will bring this to... Okay. And all right, given what's here, this park maintenance, I think no one would really want to live there. So I'm going to do maybe there's like a strip mall here or something. And then on this side, we'll do we'll do more row houses. And we'll continue with the parking lots. Right here, maybe um here do we get another on ramp? Maybe not yet. Maybe we have another road coming down this way. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that. Um we've got Belmont there. Here we've we're not connecting. Um, go ahead and even though we've got Belmont there, I want a nice like uh, four lane. Yeah, four lane road, and we'll just um. So for this one, we'll say this road was here first, which it is. So the highway has to go over the road this time. Um, so may maybe, no, you know what? We did want that to be there. That's fine. Um, so let's see, we go over here, grab our ground. We're gonna, gonna do what we normally do here. Hard to see what I'm doing. Grab, go back to this. We are three. And that does make it across, so that's good. Um, so now we need to do our slope. Okay. Now going back to the roads. We go up and over. Stop there. All right. Uh, so for highway, we've got four lane as well. So okay. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut. Butler Street short here because I don't think I wanted to do the intersection the way it was going to end up coming out. In fact, I'm going to cut it off from here too and we're going to wait until after this is done to see how it turns out. So I'm going to go oh, uh, do I do two? Sure. Uh, so we're going to go up and curve. So we're going to be right there. I'm going to go straight. I'm going to cut straight across here. And then here we would start turning in. Maybe. Um, maybe not yet. But that takes care of that side. And then here, let's start with no curve. And we across okay and 
now. Cut into there. Okay. So lane math wise, this needs to be a five lane highway for a minute. And so does that one. Okay. All right, so now, so Victoria End, we're almost done with Victoria End. Just a little bit more to do. This used to be where I had some crazy rail yards before and I hooked things up in a way that was just causing all kinds of traffic issues with my trains. So that is no longer an issue. All right, so let's do the other side of this. comes in. This goes out. Um, so again, we've got five here, five there, and we're good. All right. So now let's finish this off here. And I think okay, we've got a university here. If the offices will zone. Okay, cool. So we'll do that. Then we'll have an alleyway. Let's see, we're gonna go. There we go. And back here, we'll put some parking. All right, cool. So all we need have left uh, for next time is some detailing. Let me take a look at what we've got here. We've got, yeah, just a little bit of time before. Um, it's time for me to put um, uh, my pizza into the oven. Um, <laughs> all right. You know what? Let me just really quickly see if I can get some um, <laughs> some trees back here. Let's see. So do some along here and here. Perfect. You're back with Second Moon Radio. Your All right. Let me set up. I, I forgot to do this last time, so I'm going to do it this time. Let's set up a little drive for our new area. Here's a muscle car driving through. Ooh, very cool looking truck there. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. 
But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutluck. Welcome, Professor. I like the trees here. I think that looks really nice. One of the yellow bus lines. I think that over there is a, uh, whatchamacallit, a uh, disaster uh, prep area. Yep, that's definitely what it looks like. But the right tail light kind of looks like a heart in a way. Alright, so this guy's turning left from the right lane. Interesting. Alright, so. There we go. We're going up the ramp here. Again, we've got this nice hill. It's looking. It's probably a bit steep. Uh, uh, that's something that uh, City Planner plays definitely pays a lot of attention to that I pay a little bit less attention to. Um, but yeah, I'm loving the tree coverage here. Um, that's usually something I'm extremely envious of other people's builds. That is a lot of people walking. Where the heck are those people coming from and or going to? That is crazy. Um, See, so I'm usually envious of people's builds that have like like lots of lots. I t I got tongue tied for a second there. Lots of coverage, uh, tree coverage, um, because it looks really nice. Um, I wonder if they're going slowly because my computer's churning or because um, they're getting closer to destination or because there's street parking here. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'll definitely have to make a note to eventually go through and. Um, find anywhere where I've provided lots of parking for people and just get rid of street parking. There's no reason to have both. Um, looks like we're coming up on a gas station over here. You know, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think I've ever seen any cars like go into the gas station to get gas. Um, all right. Maybe one more minute just to see the town from this perspective, which is kind of neat. What is this over here? What are they going into? Oh, it's a uh, a walk, an elevated walkway that I made. I think this goes over the um, the train tracks. Um, but yeah, I I you know, City Skylines is kind of fun on its own in terms of um, making uh, the city and the challenge of making the money work and getting all the schools where we need schools and all that stuff. But what's so cool, what I love about City Skylines, both 1 and 2, compared to um, SimCity, especially the early SimCities, is that you could really come down into your city. Like this right here, this looks like some neighborhoods that I've been to in either Baltimore or D.C. Like, this looks like a real thing like I, I think the only thing that's missing from city skylines 2 compared to part one is that your parks and all that stuff don't have any visitors they're just there like you're building skate parks and stuff because it helps with your city but i would love to see uh, people actually skating in there um, dogs walking there now given how slowly so I, I don't remember if before i turned off the ui if i um if I uh, uh, sped up the simulation speed, but I've reached the point now with somewhere around 200,000 people where even if I put the sim speed to maximum, it's still like the time still rolls by at normal speed. The um, the money does calculate faster, but that's about it. Um, yeah, this is freaking beautiful here. In fact, I want to pause right here and I just want to I just want to take a little screenshot here. I might use this. Uh, for when I when I post it to um, to YouTube as my uh, my thumbnail. Um, so anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, um, of course. Like, oh yeah, because things are chugging uh, on mid end compu mid range computers. Um, we would definitely need like if we're gonna have people playing in the parks and stuff like that, we would need the sim to only animate them. If we're looking at it, we don't want it to be animating all the time when no one's there. Um, I believe that was one of the big uh, bugs that Colossal Order had when City Skylines 2 first came out, where um, they were even rendering the Sims' teeth 
uh, even though you almost never... What is going on with the dog there? His feet just went straight into the cement. <laughs> the leftmost dog. That's really funny. Um, but, uh, yeah, so they were simulating teeth. Um, some people dug around and saw that they were simulating the um, subway stations, even though you're never able to see the subway um, in City Skylines 1 or 2. You just, um, you know, it, it, when you do underground mode, there's no way of doing underground mode and like actually seeing the subway stations or following the subways through your city. So, um, that was like just killing, uh, rendering and, and simulation. Uh, and then maybe their first or second, um, patch, they fixed that. So people like, um, City Planner Plays, who, um, up until recently, his day job was to be a true city planner. He actually did this in real life. Um, I believe he has now quit, and his full-time job is his YouTube channel, where he does city skylines, as well as some other city builders and sims. Um, so because that's his job, like he's upgraded his computer to where it's much better um, sim speed than this. Like This is not like... You know, this is not the fact that you guys are watching this on Twitch is not the reason why the the um, image is ever so slightly stuttering as it scrolls by. Like that is happening on my computer too. Um, this kind of like like it, 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 almost. I mean, it, it it it's you know roughly going normal speed, but uh, then again, it, it does look like if I look at OBS, it's capturing at about. 17 frames per second so it may be slightly more stuttery for you than it is for me but um but it's still um that's that's what's going on here so um i i upgraded my computer in the last few years so i don't know when i'll upgrade again but um definitely somewhere along the line especially as um colossal order seems to have got their house in order no puns intended there and City Skylines 2 is much more of a joy to play than when it first came out. So I'm definitely intending to continue buying the different um, expansion packs as they come out. Or uh, see, this is how old I am. I call it expansion pack the DLC. Um, but, uh, but yeah. So uh, this is it for this stream. Um, I've got supposed to throw my pizza in the oven in the next three minutes. I've got it actually back here um, rising. Uh, the computer room with with the especially chugging along on city skylines 2 is gives off enough heat that it's a perfect temperature to for bread to rise so i usually put my bread in here to rise um i'll i'll be back later tonight probably playing bellatro um i was kind of waffling before earlier today whether i was going to do bellatro or city skylines and i decided to go with city skylines because i really wanted to uh, finish off the neighborhood that i was doing earlier but now that that's done, um, I may take a break from that and, and play some Bellatro. It's going to depend on whether my wife is playing it, because we've only got one copy for the Steam family account. Um, so if she's playing, then then I won't. Um, so I'm just going to let this uh, truck turn here, see where it goes. But, uh, but I think we're just about done. Thank you to my current viewer for watching. If at some time earlier, we had two. So um, thanks for that person. Uh, I'll just close off the stream by saying, uh, just in case it's not clear, uh, I'm raising money for Extra Life. I know a lot of Twitch streamers, they, they're they trying to get money for themselves. They're they're always, you know, trying to raise money. This is their job, right? Um, but for me, I'm raising money uh, for Johns Hopkins Children's Center in Baltimore uh, through Extra Life. That's the little Extra Life icon in the bottom left-hand side. So, um, uh, if you go to that URL there, that'll take you to the Extra Life um, page for me and you can donate any amount you can see jerry there donate two dollars that still made me extremely happy because uh, he was uh the first donor that we had on uh for this year um and my cousins donated and i've donated uh so you know we don't usually get a ton of them but uh but it is uh always very heartening to get the donations and and be able to provide um help for kids that really need it um so 
we're just gonna oh look at that so we're going right over our train tracks this guy's driving super far i did not know the sims were willing to drive this far and maybe they're not maybe this is just for me because i'm zoomed in the game allows it to happen but this is not actually a sim that's going anywhere um so i'll see you next time guys thank you bye